Good morning, my beautiful diamond. Sheila True Love here with you this morning. Today is Memorial Day, and I have a day off, and I am so happy. Yes, I am very, very happy. I was listening to this um, man on, uh, this is Facebook, and he was saying how he now realized why he sees so many women who are choosing to be single. Let me share this with you, because everything he said right here, he told no lies. Listen up. I'm starting. Hmm. I'm starting to realize why. Okay, my darlings, I'm back. I had to. Alexa wakes me up at five o'clock. Actually, I get up at four thirty, but then I have a double or whatever for Alexa. Anyway, let's finish listening to what this uh, young man is saying because he's right on point. Hmm. <laughs> I'm starting to realize why a lot of these women out here are single and for so long. And it's all making sense now because when they got their own money, their own car, own house, great credit, they're at peace, they love themselves. <laughs> I mean, what more can you offer them? I mean, they got everything. They don't, they don't need extra... You know what I'm saying? Baggage with them. At that point, it's like you walking towards a, a woman to go talk to her. She walking towards you, but she looking at you, but she's not. She's looking right through you. She, you basically in the way at that point. You just in the way. <laughs> I mean, that's just real talk. Like, and the biggest thing is they love themselves and they're at peace. Yes. So that means basically they don't need nothing else more from a guy. You know what I'm saying? What what else can you offer them? And I feel like those are the most unimpressed women ever to impress. It's going to be hard, man, because <laughs> they good. <laughs> man, now I see what, man. Well, there you have it. And that's why I was telling you, you have a lot of men now who are coming out of the woodwork and they're saying, you don't have to work. I want to stay at home wife. I want to stay at home mother. Because they want to try to keep women crippled. They want to keep you under their thumb. And keep you dependent on them. So that way they can treat you any old kind of way. That's why you have men like the one I'm about to share with you. Coming out of his face with these type of comments. Listen up, girlfriends. We have to understand that 50 50 men are predators. They prey on women for financial assistance. This man ain't coming to your life to help you. This man ain't coming to your life to elevate you. This man brought you in his life to make things more easier. That's when you say, baby, I'm tired. Baby, I'm drained. Baby, I need a vacation. The first response he gives you is, me too. I'm working too. I'm helping out too. I'm helping with the children too. Listen, ladies, you have to know the difference between a man and a boy trapped in a man's body. A man that's unable to provide fully is a boy. A man that's unable to provide fully is a predator. He's not getting with you for love. He's getting with you for financial assistance. And majority of these 50-50 men would be homeless without women. How can a woman raise children by herself and pay all the bills, but get with a man that just has himself and he's still acting for financial help? Something isn't right. Men, please make it make sense. Call praise to the most time. He's also coming up with videos like this. So you've been playing with those dusty bumps. That man can't afford you. He needs to stay in his tax bracket. A real man, when he sees you, the first thing he's going to say is, do you have a man? As soon as you say no, he's going to say, this is for your nails. This is for your hair. This is for a new outfit. Matter of fact, here's some extra money so you can take yourself to the, out to eat 
on Saturday night. And matter of fact, here's my number as well. So you can call me just in case you want me to come with you. Real men do not play games. If they want you, they're going to let it be known. They're going to take care of you because a real man love language is providing. It's the bums. Oh, man, she costs too much. Oh, oh man, she's materialistic. Oh, oh, man, she's a gold digger. They don't have gold to dig. It's only the broke men always complain about women wanting money. Real men are going to take care of you from the beginning to the end. They're not wasting no time. You don't have to talk them into getting you anything. As soon as they realize it's a problem, they're taking care of you. Get you a man that's a provider. If he can't provide for you, he can't provide for your children. Leave him alone. Pay attention how he approaches you. Now keep in mind what you just heard but don't, don't be one of these weak-minded and gullible women like the Bible says, the Bible prophesied that men are going to start seeking out women who are gullible. Keep in mind what you just heard, and let's play this one again. I'm starting to, hmm. I'm starting to realize why a lot of these women are here a single and for so long. And it's all making sense now because when they got their own money, their own car, own house, great credit, they're at peace, they love themselves. <laughs> I mean, what more can you offer them? I mean, they got everything. They don't, they don't need extra, you know what I'm saying, baggage with them at that point. It's like you walking towards a, a woman to go talk to her. She walking towards you, but she looking at you but she's not she's looking right through you she, you basically in the way at that point you just in the way <laughs> I mean, that's just real talk like and the biggest thing is they love themselves and they're at peace so that means basically they don't need nothing else more from a guy you know what i'm saying what what else can you offer them and i feel like those are most unimpressed women ever to impress it's going to be hard, man, because <laughs> they good. <laughs> man, now I see what, man. I love this so much. And it's not to say that women, no, we don't need you. We need God, Jesus, air, food, water, clothing, and shelter. But you have a lot of women who still want men and still enjoy men. And yes, there's something that what else can you give them? You can help keep me. I can't speak for all women, but you can help keep me spiritually strong, sweetheart. This world is very evil and very wicked. And I need as much encouragement as I can get so that I can make it to the finish line. Can you help me, please? Help me make it to the finish line. That's what you could do for me. And I also enjoy men's company. I like my sisterhood. You know, I support that 100%. I also enjoy men's company because with men, I find that they're not as emotional as women, unless they're usually gay. A lot of men are very, very emotional and they take offense to a lot of things that you say. When I'm hanging out with men, I love it. I love it because I get to talk freely. I don't have to talk on eggshells. I don't have to walk on eggshells worrying about, can they handle it? Can they, are they going to take offense to it? With men, they're not usually overly emotional. They're more logical. And I'm more of a logical person. So yes, women enjoy your company. And I love having you around. I, you know, I have my moments when I enjoy good male company because you have a lot of men who are also, you know, very knowledgeable. I get pleasure out of listening to a man who could teach me things. Gregory Elliott, that boy taught me how to be street smart. I could listen to Gregory talk like forever. He did have a college education also. At the same time, that man, he taught me so much. I admired him. I looked up to him. I had to get rid of him because he cheated. And I, yeah, yeah, don't come back from that with Sheila True Love. But I did keep that man in my life until he made his transition. Yeah, I did. So it's not about women having to need you financially, provide financially. I could do that for myself, as you heard this young gentleman say. We could do that for ourselves because we're grown adults. 
Now, if you want children, then I agree with what that other dude said. You better be making six figures, sweetheart. Other than that, no, I can. I, I don't need a sugar daddy. I'm looking for a partner. I like a partner. But don't be fooled and let some guy trip you up, ladies. Don't be gullible and naive. Twinkle, twinkle.